Let's go back to the Sarova Stanley Hotel and uh, where we're celebrating the life of the late Philip Ochin. Dr. Naim Bilal, Managing Director of the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, is speaking right now. A lot has been said and continues to be said about PO. It is difficult really to say enough about our departed colleague. But allow me to start by thanking uh, KEG, Kenya Editors Guild, for organizing this event to reflect on our life and times as journalists with our departed colleague. Dorothy, before I go far, allow me to recognize you. I just walked in. We have heard a lot lately about um, uh, PO, and we continue to hear, you know, in the newspapers, I was reading very interesting anecdotes, uh, radio programs. Yesterday it was John Kamau, very wonderful, you know, reflections, anecdotes you can associate with. I saw something from Mangi Gidao writing from South Africa. And um, I must say, uh, Philip touched most of us who are all practice journalism through the 80s and 90s in a very, very special way. He's a man who influenced journalism and pop politics, media and politics, in a very significant way in this country. Through his uh, writings, book writing, professional and social relationships, Philip did make a very great impact. Myself, I moved from a reporting to the sub's desk without a clue of what subbing was all about in terms of practice around 1997-1998 and I was placed under the tutelage of uh, one PO. PO was teach, uh, taught or trained us with a couple of others on language use, grammar, diction, syntax and editorial judgment as gatekeepers and I must say that training was to carry us through our careers throughout I've been in the profession now more than three decades and a lot of what I have practiced had, has, or has had a connection with Philip Cheng and Joe Kadi. Uh, Joe, Kadi uh, Joe Kadi's training was mainly in the mechanics of editing. Those who came into the scene after uh, the 2000, you may not know things that used to be called editing signs and symbols. There was a language for uh, editors that you know you had to be taken through. I took, I was a fan of uh, PO myself right from the um, 80s when I was in school, early 80s. I used to go to the school library and I would appreciate. Of course, I was decif deciphering very little about um, Philip's uh, uh, writing, but I used to admire his English, his ideas that were way beyond me. That little, little did I know that I would find myself under his tutelage in the fullness of life. Um, I must admit here, and that's why I'm happy to be here, that Philip and Joe Kade did get me started in my career as an editor. The skills, the knowledge, the expertise I gained from these two gentlemen and others, Joe Dino included, Tom Shindy, and others, professional colleagues, it has really helped me throughout my life as fast as a journalist and now as a manager and leader at Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, we honor and celebrate a great man today, P.O. May you uh, rest in eternal peace. Thank you.